here um, at, at level five. All right. All right, so level five, I'm uh, gonna grab my abilities. Okay, there we go. And she does scale off of magical power as well. So I'm gonna grab a couple of uh, just basic magical power items here, kind of similar to maybe what you would see a, uh, a Guan Yu build or something like that. Um, I'm gonna scrap a uh, Mark of the Vanguard as well, maybe some pots. Okay, so here she is. Uh, her run animation, auto attacks. So I guess the first thing we can talk about is her passive, Reach. After using an ability, Athena's next basic attack is a range attack hitting all enemies that passes through and dealing additional magical damage. So plus an additional 50 uh, damage to my basic attack. So you'll see my basic attack here. And then, well, I'll activate an ability uh, like my number two here, which is a taunt. And then I got the range attack. So uh, that, that's really a big piece of her kit. Um, the number two ability. Confound. Athena releases a shockwave of power from her shield, taunting enemy gods and forcing them to fight or chase her for 1.25, 1, 1. 1.5, 1. 1. 1.75, or two seconds. So, uh, there you go. There's, there's your Athena. Uh, she does have the taunt. I'm gonna go ahead and get that to rank two as well. Also, it, uh, it looks like she has a hit progression. Let's see if we can verify this. Is this an AoE hit? Uh, it is not at the moment. Um, so nothing there just yet, but you can see once again, I'll just activate my taunt. And then I get, yawn, it hits all the targets in a line. Um, her second ability, or rather her first ability, I guess in this case, is um, is, a, is a kind of a dashing, leaping strike. It's called Preemptive Strike. Athena powers up a dash. While dashing, Athena will stop and hit the first enemy god she encounters, dealing damage and slowing them. If she has an enemy, Athena gains one stack of block up to three, absorbing the next basic attack from any god that hits her. So, um, she'll negate one in hand. Um, it charges up, then it's available, and... Um, in this build, it does not, uh, it will stop on the minions. In the next build that I would, I should be able to test for you guys soon, um, it, uh, it will actually go through minions and only hit God, and only stop on gods. But, uh, that means that now I negate basically one auto attack from, uh, any, any player on the map. Um, so, let's see if I can, I've charged it up now, I hit him, and then I throw my one range spear, I missed it. Um, so that, that's how that works. You, you block up to three in-hand attacks depending on how much you stack this, I guess. So the raw hasn't hit me yet. Now it's available. I dash in, auto attack, kill. Okay, so fairly reasonable there. Sorry, it's very And then just uh, until he hits me with a basic attack, I build that block stack over here in the corner. So I have one stack of it currently. And it does take, as you see, it takes a moment to charge up as well, so... Is the rod jungling? Is the rod that sophisticated? What? All right, we'll go ahead and recall here. And, you know, just kind of come. We'll grab another health pot, because why not? Yeah, I've never seen that before. <laughs> I've never seen the rod try to jungle. Um, so, her number three ability. Shield Wall. Athena summons a group of Athenian warriors who do damage upon arrival and after two seconds strike for additional damage. 145 and then 290 uh, at each rank. So I'll show you exactly how this works. So, um, And it's player based on her. There's her recall as well. Go ahead and get that done. Um, but so they come down dealing damage and then oh, fire again for additional damage. Um, and of course that synergizes pretty well and there you see me absorbing those in-hand attacks and there I just ate one um, with this kind of thing where you go like ha ah, ha ah, oh you want to go away right bah, I pull you back into it you know so that's how uh, that's her, her general kit synergy so you can you can set that up you know relatively easily this is also gives you a little bit of farm potential um, with, with the range attack, of course, I do have pretty nice scaling right now against the, um, 
pulling back. And okay, he got out of it, so. Oh yeah, sorry, I didn't add my face back to this, guys. My bad. There you go. Hi. Um, so let's let's see like if I go like, you know, kind of a standard tank bruiser style build, maybe something like a breastplate of valor here and then a uh, you know, a sovereignty and maybe a wall of absolution or something like that. Um, should be relatively tanky. No, the taunt does not work like a mez. The taunt goes for the duration currently. Uh, 1.25 seconds at this rank. So backpedaling raw can't handle it. Of course I won't taunt them. They wouldn't go anywhere. And then my my range auto attack follow up there. This robot. Does he like just constantly go and throw a What is he doing? Improve robot AI. Holy moly. He actually was jungling. Oh no, she definitely does have hip progression. 44, 44, 94. So, she does indeed have that. So we'll go ahead and keep on ranking that up. How does her range attack work? Uh, it's her passive. After using any ability, she gains uh, a range attack. So, ability, range attack. And then normally it's just a javelin like that. Yes, her in-hand damage is scaling with magical power. That's correct. Um, she is uh, she is dealing magical power in her auto attacks, and uh, and it's scaling off of her auto attack power to the range attack stack. Um, like if you blow like one ability and then another one, no, they don't. You can only use one at a time. So uh, the ult. Yeah, she'll probably be more magic bruiser. Her damage output isn't really that great, though, right now, um, with what we have, what we're looking at currently. Wow, I missed that. Uh, but actually, like, 350 on that ability, um, which is pretty nice, but it's not, like, amazing, amazing. Oh, I missed my range. Wow. All right, so now I have the max range, max level taunt. We'll take a look at the duration on that. It's a, uh, let's see, what do we got here? Two second taunt at max rank. So that does 210 followed by 350. So about 500 damage on that ability if you can hit him with both parts of it. Her number one charges up the dash and then it becomes active and then you dash. Hit, if you hit anything, you get an extra stack of her passive which will block the next in-hand attack. Uh, it also will charge up your passive, which gives you the uh, the range, uh, the one range attack. So let's see. One, two. I mean, that's pretty solid. Now I got the, the range attack plus 50 damage. Can you beads the taunt? Yes, you can. And it does not affect uh, like beads to players. But you can see, like, even at level 12 versus a level 9 robot, like, and with, like, a max item build, I'm not, like, dunking on him. Like, the damage is very modest. She's, she's, she can deal some damage, but it's, uh, she's a tank. Um, a little bit more so than last time I, I played her. No, one block per stack. No, only in hand attacks. Uh, it does not work for ultimates. It only, you will only block auto attacks, basically. Or what would be an auto attack. So you see, I can clear okay there. Um, the change to the number one, as I understand it, is going to be that instead of dashing and hitting a minion, you'll dash through minions dealing damage to all of them. 
Um, and then if you hit a god, you'll stop. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I, uh, I'm waiting for the build to go out to show it. But yeah, that that so that's gonna be the difference, guys. Is on this number one when you charge it up, it won't stop until she hits a god. It'll actually go through minions and deal damage to them. But you can see, I can tower dive pretty easily. I mean, granted, I have like a massive amount of physical armor at this point, but the block will not stop a tower shot now. No, not if you don't hit a god, you're going forever. Just that you will uh, that you'll go through all the minions. Oh, another thing is that while that number one is charging up, you can't auto attack, which is a little bit strange. If the range attack works with poly, I believe it does, yes. Can players pass through three? Yes. No, the passive does not absorb tower hits. Not that I'm aware of, at least. Uh... Towers do physical damage. 